Pastries from my home country, Guyana, seem to hit a little different. One of my favorite sweet pastries is known as a pine tart. In a pine tart, you get a tasty buttery dough filled with sweet and tangy pineapple jam filling. I have been craving it a little lately, but the nearest Guyanese bakery is miles away. So, I decided to make my own. I looked at a bunch of different recipes before tackling this, and it was hard to know which one will actually taste good without actually tasting it. Being me, I just compiled and mixed all the recipes and just approached it that way. I used fresh and canned pineapples. I used white sugar and brown sugar. I used butter and Crisco for the pastry dough. And for my egg wash, I didn't have yellow food coloring, which gives it that distinct yellow color, but I tried to make it work. The thing about pine tart is it reminds me of a pop tart, except for that glaze and sprinkles on the outside. There is a variety of flavors when it comes to pine tart. Some people make it very sweet. Some people make it really tangy. Then there are those that just makes it a good balance. You get sweet and tangy. You also don't want a thick pastry dough around your filling. Then you end up choking. You have to wash it down. It's going to be like eating a Popeye's biscuit without anything to drink. One thing I didn't realize when I was making this is it took a circle to make that triangular shape. I had to improvise with what I had but I'm also risking the chance of them opening up in the oven. The final products, they came out amazing. The filling is so balanced, and the pastry dough is the perfect kind of thickness that you get a bite with filling in every bite, if that makes sense. But being me, of course I can't cure my cravings with these little ones. So I had to be a little extra and make a big one. And that's a Guyanese pine tart.